FMU, you're on the air. Hey, Tom, it's Roy. Roy. Yeah. Philly boy Roy? Yeah, you know. Sure. Yeah. Hey, yeah, guess, how are you, Philly boy Roy? I'm um, great. Guess where I am? Um, Philly? Yeah. Uh, I'm actually outside the Roxborough Cineplex Odeon. Okay, why? Guess what I just saw for the 25th time. What you just saw for the 25th time? I don't know. What? Signs. So I saw signs I was just mentioning. I liked it a lot. Oh, you did? Yeah. Oh, you seen it? I saw it. Oh, man, what would you think of uh, all, all them landmarks in it? All the what in L it? Landmarks. The landmarks? Yeah. That's my turf. It did take place in Philly, didn't yes, it? Well, yeah, outside of Philly. You know, like Concha Hawk and uh, a lot of it was filmed up there in Doylestown. Some uh -huh. of it was in Radnor. Okay. Yeah. So, so it was film. It was actually filmed there. Oh yeah. And you've seen it how many times? Uh, Twenty-five. Twenty-five times. It's been out like two and a half weeks. Oh yeah. I mean, it's just so fascinating. You know, I used to work up there in Doylestown, where a lot of that that stuff uh, was filmed when they go into town. Mm-hmm. You know. Sure. Sure. So that's like that's the heart of Bucks County. You know. Uh huh. So I used to work up there at, at a, at a uh, tire uh, retreading place. A tire retreading yeah. place. So that was in uh, Doylestown. Oh yeah, yeah. So was it exciting? So how did you know the movie? Did you know the movie was being filmed when oh, it was? Oh yeah, being yeah. See, I knew. Uh, yeah, you know, there there was kind of a buzz about it, and yeah, you know, I even know a couple of guys who who uh, saw Mel Gibson's limo. A couple of guys who saw Mel Gibson's limo. Yeah. Okay. How was? Did you see any of that uh, exciting stuff? Oh no, you know I, I I've been working down here, so I I, I didn't get I didn't get up there. And what have you been? Do, what are you doing now, just, Philly just boy to Roy? Check that out. I'm still at the pencil factory. Oh, that's right. You yeah. work at a pencil factory. And what do you do again? Oh uh, what? Oh, uh, I got moved up. Really? Yeah. Well, I, what, what, do, what do you do now? I'm working on the number eight pencils now. The number eight yeah. pencils. Well, oh, congratulations. Yeah. That's oh, uh, that's quite an accomplishment. Oh yeah. Hey, I'll send you a box maybe if you're if you're nice to me. If I'm what? Nice to me. If I'm nice to you? Yeah. Okay. Well, maybe uh, this call's going pretty good for. Uh, oh, well, I'm riding this high. I'll, I'm going to go see it again tomorrow. Signs. Oh yeah. So, what do you like best about the movie? Oh, I just love seeing all that stuff that that, that I've been around. You know, it's it's just exciting seeing things from my life up on the screen. Mm hmm. Mm -hmm. How about how about like the message of the movie? Oh yeah, like Bucks County rules. Well, no, no, like the, um, like the message of the movie, like what the whole point behind the movie is, the actual message of the plot. Like, like what? Well, just like the whole the whole discussion of of randomness versus um, versus the signs meaning something. Yeah, you know, I didn't get into it like that. I just like looking at the stuff. And uh, but you know, it, I, it's a great movie because I, I like I like them uh, alien movies too. Oh, so you liked it more? So you didn't get into the whole spiritual side of the movie because that guy's movies are always kind of spiritual. But there was like it was like a uh, like a sci-fi ish thing also. If that's what you were into. Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. Hey, you know, one thing about the movie that, that I didn't like. What's that? Well, I, I shouldn't say I didn't like it. I didn't quite get it. There's that one guy in the movie who, who, who's Arabian, and, and he just seemed really out of place there. A, a guy who seemed what? He just seemed out of place. Now, what did you call him? That Arabian guy. <laughs> An Arabian guy? Yeah. Oh, you mean the director of the movie who, who had the one scene in the movie? Yeah, yeah, the Arabian guy. He was Arabian, wasn't he? Yeah, I guess I I would say he would be. Uh, he looked like it Indian, to me, right? He's, well, I would say he's he's Indian, uh, Arabian. Is that's that's kind of a uh, an out of touch term. I mean, that's that's pretty. That's that's kind of offensive, almost. Oh, Arabian. I'm not offended by it at all. <laughs> not you, know you him. You know who they should have gotten to play that character? Who? Schmitty. You mean Mike Schmidt? Oh yeah. So Mike Schmidt should have played. The role of the guy who, uh, well, I, I don't want to give too much of it out over the air. Oh, yeah, because people got to see this, too. Because, I mean. It turned on to the beauty of Bucks County. Well, that's the whole thing. I mean, obviously, you know, you've seen it 25 times, and I guess there's a, uh, 
and nobody should know more than you right. about how you don't want to give away the ending in the movie over the air. It's kind of the thing that people should be able to discover for themselves. Oh, you know, I've actually never seen the ending. The end you, you of of signs. Yeah. But you've seen it twenty five times. Yeah, I mean, I've seen, I've seen, I guess, all but the very ending. See, what happens is, you know, it gets to that part. Do you know that part where, where, and I apologize if I'm giving some of this away, but you know that there's that scene where the. Uh, I'll, I'll see if I can veil this so it, it don't ruin it for nobody. Okay. That scene where the where his wife. You know, is, is on that road. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Sure, sure. I used to I used to drive on that road all the time to work when I worked at Doylestown. Mm hmm And I get so excited when I see that that I, I have to get up and I have to run outside and tell people that I used to drive on that same road. Yeah. So I actually end up missing the end of the movie. 25 times? Yeah, but I come back and then I go and I look at the credits. Yeah. And, you know, at the very end where it thanks all, all them towns up there in Bucks County. Yeah, that's I didn't. The greatest. That's the greatest. Is that your favorite part of the movie? That's probably my favorite part of the movie where it goes, and thanks to everyone that in the Delaware Valley. Yeah, see you that. Don't see no one, you don't see no New Jersey towns getting thanked. Yeah, well, they didn't film it in New Jersey. I mean, so, ever. Ever. Also. You, you never see New Jersey getting thanked for nothing. You well, don't see New Jersey being used to film any movies too you know why why because if they, if they filmed a movie up in new jersey you'd see those uh those smoke clouds from all the pollution you'd see the smoke clouds from all the pollution are you sure that the film would be even be able to like capture new jersey with like the smell oh yeah that like it wouldn't just have waves of stink coming off is that is like that's that it, it's not like that here we're oh, so sure close is. to you we're so close to Philly. I don't know how you can just say that Philly rules and New Jersey just stinks so bad. It does. Well, it does. Well, you know, I, I'm shocked. You've seen the movie Signs 25 times. Yeah. What's that? Yeah. Yeah. So you've seen it 25 times. Yeah. Yeah. And you managed to somehow miss uh, what some people would, what is arguably the best part of the movie. Like I said, I get so excited. I got I got to run out and tell someone that I know where they said they shot it. Well, who are you telling? Well, it's usually the same guy that that works at the popcorn the stand. Same, the same guy. Yeah. You've told him twenty five times. Yeah, I think he's getting a little tired of it, but I can't stop it. Maybe he just assumes you're you're um, maybe he thinks you're like retarded or something. Oh no way, me! I work in a pencil factory. Um, you're oh you're right. I'm sorry. Hey, you know what? What's that? I'm actually thinking of incorporating a lot of the characters from signs in the movie I'm making, Philly Pride. Okay. Yeah, Philly Pride. Yeah, well, I know the movie Philly Pride. You told it about... Uh... Yeah, it's still in the works. I'm still writing it. Yeah, you said it was going to be that the Philly... Let me just remember the plot of Philly Pride. If, I, if uh, the Philly fanatic gets kidnapped yeah. by some, like... And naturally, with your classic New Jersey hatred. Yeah, you know where he's from? The, the, them guys who take him. <laughs> They're from New Jersey. Yeah, that's right, that's yeah. right. Which guys? Pardon me? Which guys take him? Guys from New Jersey. The, you said Nem, though. What is that? Nem, go Nem guys from New Jersey. Oh, that's right. This is That's the way you say them. T-H-E-M, Nem. Yeah, Nem. Nem there, guys. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Nem Nair guys from uh, from Jersey, so they kidnap the Philly fanatic, right? And it's up to like it was <laughs> you, you all the Philly heroes, all the Philly heroes. You had this insane thing with Sylvester Stallone, like fighting the statue outside, like the yeah. Rocky statue. Oh yeah, yeah. And Mike Schmidt, he he helps out, and a couple of guys in in the Hooters, Robert Hazard, he helps. Uh, we're trying to get. Uh, uh, the Fresh Prince. Will Smith. Yeah. Yeah, so you'll get Will Smith for your movie. That, that, that hey, much. he's West Philly. Yeah, well, I think he's also a uh, $20 million uh, a film actor. He'll do it for actor. his homies. He'll do it for his homies. He'll have, do it for Philly. Have you shown him a script or anything? No, like I said, I've not done it yet. You've not done it yeah, yet. Yeah, I'm writing it out longhand. Okay. It's hard. Yeah, it is hard to write a script out longhand. Yeah. 
Yeah, so you... Um, I'm almost out of notebook paper. <laughs> you might want to go buy a new notebook then. Just to... Uh, you yeah, know, we'll see. Yeah, or you can write on the other side. Hey, speaking of stars... Yeah? You wouldn't know how I could get a hold of Mel Gibson, do you? No, I don't know how. Well, you know, Rhoda and I had a, had a great idea the other night that um, we're going to put out a book called Mel Gibson's Pennsylvania Dutch Cookbook. Okay, and it'll be what? Like his... Well, essentially, she and I are going to write it, but we need him to be on the cover, and, and we'd also like to, to get, like, about two or 300 photos with him for the book. Photos of, of him? Yeah, just being uh, up there in Bucks County, kind of like re, like reliving the movie. So you'd actually want him to go back oh, yeah. to Philly? Oh, he loves it here. He's got to. He's got to love it there. Yeah, there, there was rumors that he, he was, he was uh, taking his limo down after the shoot every day uh, into Philly because he didn't like it up here, but I don't think that's true. That he was taking his limo into Philly outside of Bucks to leave Bucks County? Yeah. I mean, what's not to like about about Warrington and Doylestown? Yeah, hey, hey, uh, like, what to you is the biggest selling point of of Warrington? Is that the name of the oh, town? Oh yeah, it's right. It, it's it's sort of like a suburb of Doylestown. Mm hmm. Oh, so it's a suburb of Doylestown. Yeah, like Doylestown, sort of the city part. Yeah. So, what is like the best part of living in Doylestown? Oh, geez. Well, there's that kind of historic colonial downtown. But I think the best part is probably the shoe fly pie and the funny cake. The, the, the funny cake? Yeah. What is funny cake? Oh, you got to be kidding me. I'm not kidding you. Well, you know, shoe fly pie is like, well, isn't let me it just say isn't the funny cake is like shoe fly pie without the powdered sugar on top. Well, isn't shoe fly, shoe fly pie made with like horse manure? <laughs> oh, you're, you're taking a dig at me. No, I'm honestly asking because I thought because no. I thought I was pretty sure that was part of the diet down in. Uh... Oh, oh, okay, okay. I I know what you're getting at. Yeah. Hey, how are you going to incorporate elements of signs into Philly Pride? Oh well, I I guess I would just ask that guy uh, if he if I could use some who, of the the Arabian guy. Yeah. And who would you you would incorporate the? You, well, he'd so, come down here too. I I I'd probably just see him on the street somewhere. So you would incorporate some of the characters, yeah. um, like like Mel Gibson's character. Well, probably uh, his character and probably Joe Queen Phoenix. Uh huh. Joe Queen Phoenix. Yeah. Yeah. So you'd you'd incorporate their two characters. What would they do in Philly Pride? Oh, well, you know they they'd be like like experts on extraterrestrials. Uh huh. So there'd be a, 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 a time when some of the extra ter extraterrestrials, probably the same guys that are in signs, they come to Earth and they're trying to help the guys from New Jersey. Oh, so the aliens are now bad guys in league with New Jersey. Oh, yeah. I mean, it makes sense, don't it? Yeah, it does make sense. Yeah. So Joe Queen and, and, um, and Mel, they would know how to fight them guys. Yeah, they would know how to. Space. Yeah, they would know how to fight them guys. Oh yeah, so I'm sure he'll sign off on it. The Arabian dude. You mean M Night Shyamalan? Excuse me. His name is M Night Shyamalan. He. That does sound like an Arabian name to me. Yeah, well, see, you keep saying Arabian, but it, the guy's Indian. That. That's not a rape. That's like, I mean, this is amazing that you are so territorial about New Jersey is is just. What would you use? What's one word you would describe New Jersey? Oh, uh, this might be two words. Stink pit. I think that's one word, actually. OK, OK. But um, so you would you but you're so mad at, at New Jersey. Yeah, because you ruin it for everyone because you got to get all the all, on them breaks. Oh. And us working spits down here, we got to work for all, all of it. This is complete fiction. Uh, all you working stiffs down there. But, so there's no working stiffs in New Jersey. No, you, you guys all go, in, go, all go into the city in Manhattan and you, and you have, have them jobs where you're wearing them neckties. Those neck toys. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, we're all wearing neck toys up here. So you, but, 
But you're you're so down on New Jersey, which is just right across the uh, the road from Philly. Right. Yet you're just willing to lump in everyone who's in these countries that are as big as America and say that they're all Arabian. No, I'm just, that, that's what he looked like to me. Look, if he's from Philly, he's one of us. Okay, so he's one of you then, because I think he is from that's Philly. That's great. He's one of us, so we got to keep Philly pure. Philadelphians only. So okay. you're... I don't care where you're from. So I mean, you... I don't care where your ancestors is from. As long as you're Philly. As long as... Okay. All right. So you're... Okay. I think I vague... You know, I vaguely understand your aesthetic. I, I'm kind of troubled now to almost sign off on it in a way. Oh, yeah. You know I'm right. Hey, you know another thing that I didn't like about the movie? What's that? Other than the fact that you missed the last no. half hour of it? No. Telling the same like concession I, I think... guy... That hey I'm like hey I know that road, I drive on that road. What? How do you? This is this is going. This you saw it twenty five times. Okay. You that scene comes up and you just can't control yourself. Oh yeah. You just jump to your. I'm just gonna try to picture it. You jump to your feet. The first time I saw it, I actually shrieked. You actually shrieked. I stood up. I shrieked, and I just kept yelling, "That's my road! That's my road!" And people start throwing stuff at me. Wow, what a shocker. Yeah. Yeah. So you were, um, so then you run up the aisle. Yeah, and I started pointing at the screen. Mm-hmm. And I used, I would yell out, you know, that's where, that's where I used to drive on that road when I would go into New Jersey to get drunk when I was a kid. When you would drive to New Jersey to get drunk? Yeah, but, yeah because the age there was 19. Uh-huh. But, but in PA, it was 21. So you, so New Jersey was good enough for you to get drunk in. Well, yeah, that's all it's good for, basically. Uh, get, you know, when you're a kid, back, well, back then, you know, you got drunk there, but you, you have to leave because it smelled so bad. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. So you basically, yeah. So it smelled so bad. Yeah. Yeah. So y you, oh my! Sometimes Philly boy Roy, when you talk, I, I just it's it's like a, a puzzle that just gets more complex. I Every... love it though. Hey, 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 listen to this. What's that? I want to get um get back to uh the thing that first kind of brought us together. What what's that? Away your, from... your your uh your pea-sized brain? <laughs> okay. No, a wager. Remember oh, the, the all, all or nothing bet? Yeah, the all or nothing bet that you welched on. Oh no, I didn't. You welched on it. You cheated. How did I cheat? Cause, because you Because the got Eagles the, didn't win the Super Bowl, I cheated. You got that inside scoop. Inside scoop that the Eagles would lose. Yeah. You know they still have to play the games. Oh, Roy. but you guys up there in New Jersey and, and uh, New York, you guys know inside information. Yeah, we have those fancy time machines you, up here. Well, I don't know what you got up there, but it ain't fair. It ain't fair. So here's so, here's the new bet. Okay. Okay. Them Eagles are going to go not only all the way this year, but they're going to be completely undefeated. The, so you're you're predicting that the Eagles will not lose one football game. That's right. This coming year. Yeah. Okay, so you're saying what is that? Nineteen and zero. Well, like the the, six, the, uh, the the regular season. Sixteen games. It is sixteen, and then there's two posties. Two posties. What's a postie? Uh, a postseason oh, game. Oh, postseason game. Okay. Yeah. And then, uh, and then the bowl. Okay. So you're saying that they're going to run the table, win every game they they step out on the field to play. That's right. And what do you want to bet? If I lose, you get to break my leg on the air. Okay, and if I I uh, lose, I get to break your neck on the air. My neck. Yeah. Well, how come you just get your leg broken? Oh, my leg's really important to me. Well, my neck is important to me. Oh, you don't need it. <laughs> yes, I do. No, you don't. It holds my head up. Oh, you could do the show from bed. 
from bed. Yeah, I can't do the pencil uh, factory in a wheelchair, though. Oh, okay, so you think that's a fair bet. Yeah. Well, why don't we both bet that uh, it's it's my neck for your neck? No way. Why not? I need... Uh, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna do that. Well, let's figure out a bet then. Okay. Your, why not my leg for your leg? Okay. Then I'll. You get to break my leg. Okay. If the Eagles win every single football game this year. Okay. But I get to break your leg. If they I don't lose, know about if they this. don't go undefeated. I don't know about this. This is your idea. You're the one bringing up betting. Well, let's. Now I'm all nervous. Let's do. Let's do something else. Okay. What that, do you want to do? That don't involve breaking things. Okay. Because I'm afraid that you you're going to get some sort of in, inside info, or you're going to put the fix in. That I'll put the fix in yeah. on the game. Yeah. I'll call in my uh, my my mafia goons. You pro uh, well, everyone up there knows one. Everyone up here knows a yeah. mafia go. No mafia down here. Yeah. Oh, yeah. No mafia down Hey, you know what mafia is down there? The Tasty Cake Mafia. That's what we call it. Oh, don't ever joke about, about them Tasty Cakes. That was another thing I didn't like about that movie. What's that? There were no Tasty Cakes in it. Yeah, I did notice they, they managed to somehow um, neglect Tasty Cakes from the movie Signs. There was that one scene where they're having dinner together. Mm-hmm. There should have been a whole bowl of tasty cakes, candy cakes. So they should have just been gorging themselves on, yeah, go but they on didn't garbage. Do that. See, that's why I, I I have questions about that Arabian guy. Uh huh. He, it's almost like he don't know Philly. Well, it, it, see, some people this is this might be a shocker to you. Some people might know Philly, but they might not know the the. Um, the garbagey parts of Philly. Oh, there ain't there ain't none. Well, the fact that like the uh, the slobs who eat tasty cakes all day instead of salads. Hey, that's the nectar of the gods. Hey, but, so getting back to the bet. Yeah, getting back to the bet. What do you want to wager? Um, I get to punch you in the stomach on the air, and you get to punch me in the stomach. That seems a little lightweight. Okay. There's got to be something involved that that is. If one of us loses, it's a major catastrophe for that person. Why well, not another all or nothing bet? But this time you stick to it. No, I don't think so. How about um? How about a wife swapping? A wife swapping. Yeah. If if I lose. Yeah. Rhoda has to go live with. With you, if you if oh, no, she's 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 pretty fine. That sounds like I lost. No, I'll send you a JPEG. <laughs> I don't want a JPEG. She she looks like Roseanne if Roseanne was about twenty pounds lighter. Oh my God! Wow. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I'm gonna pass on that one. Okay. Uh huh. How about a how about a uh. I don't know. What's a good Dave? There's a call. See if that person has an idea for a a uh, a bet, maybe that would settle that we can do for the all or nothing. I don't know. Why don't you take a call and, and have someone someone uh, like a third party come mm -hmm. up with something? Well, that's what we're gonna see. Two zero one two hundred nine three six eight. If you've got an idea, if Philly boy Roy, who's uh, the greatest. They're kind of an enemy of the program. Am I still on that list? I think you still are on the enemies of Tom list. Why? Because you uh, you welched out on a bet. So if you've got an idea of uh, a bet that that Roy and I can have, Roy wants to bet that the e Roy says the Eagles are going to go undefeated all year. That they're not going to lose a football game, and I say that they're going to obviously lose a game. We need to determine a bet that the two of us can. Uh, on. Yeah, something we can agree on. We got some calls going in. Dave is screening them now. Okay. 
FMU, you're on the air. Hey, Tom. Hey. Yes. I have an idea. Okay, turn your radio down, son. Sure, hold on. Okay, turn your radio down, Yep. Okay. Yeah. What's your idea for the bet that uh, Philly Boy Roy and I should have? If you lose, Philly Boy Roy gets to do a show with you on your radio show. And if Philly Boy Roy loses, he spends a whole day with you in New Jersey. Oh, my God. I liked the first part, but then when I heard that second part, it was like, oh, my God, I don't know if I could breathe. I think that might be the bet. Maybe I have to spend a day in Philly. Yeah. You have to eat five cheesesteaks. If I lose, I have to eat five cheesesteaks. I like it. No, that's almost like a treat, though. Trust me, that's a, that's a living hell. Oh, you, five cheesesteaks. That's like... That's like a gift. Does that have to be with you, though? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, you might not like that too much. Yeah. How about that? I, how about... Uh, I'm going to add to that. Now, where are you calling? Okay, go ahead. Where are you going to add to I'm it? I'm going to add that he... you got to come to the to the pencil factory, factory with me and put in the full day's work. Okay, I would do that. Okay. Now, caller, where are you calling from? New York. Oh, jeez. Have you ever been to Philly? Um... No. Oh, you're missing out, son. Uh, I don't think so. Philly's like, it's got everything New York's got, but it's clean, and the people are nice. People are nice here. Oh, no, they're not. I've heard all about it up there. I've heard all about it about Philly. Have you seen Rocky? Yes. That's a great film. Sure is. Have you seen Spider-Man? No. Great film. Guess where it's... Oh, that's crap. It's in New York. Hey, hey, Tom. Yeah? Well, I I'm going to agree to this. Okay. Well, we got a couple more calls. A couple of people want to have possible things. Let's... We'll pick... Uh, we'll pick one. Uh, FMU, you're on the air. Hi. Hey. I got an idea. What's that? Uh, if uh, Philly Boy loses, uh, you get to pull, pull the radio out of his car with a crowbar and smash it to pieces. And smash all his OJ records. All his OJ's records? His OJ's records. Okay. I've, I've got the entire collection. Okay, and if Philly Boy Roy wins... Then you have to sit in the coal mine and eat pizza that comes from Philadelphia. What was that last part? He has to sit in the coal mine and eat pizza from Philly. That's, that's like another gift, again. That's like, that's a treat. Yeah. Okay, uh, sure. I think that's good, though. That's good. I think, I think I'm think i picking up on a general theme here for how we're going to do this bet. People it, don't like our food. I don't understand it. I think the bet is basically going to uh, be if, how's this sound? If, if the Eagles lose a game and I win the bet, yeah. you have to come to New Jersey for a full day, <laughs> and I have to show you New Jersey. <laughs> And you have to eat New Jersey food. Uh, I think I just threw up in my mouth. You have to eat New Jersey food. You have to uh, uh, no. take place in some New Jersey culture. <laughs> there, there is some? Yeah. Uh, well, well, I'll show you. I'll give you a guided tour of the state. How's uh, that okay. sound? Okay. And conversely, if somehow the Eagles manage to not lose... A football game for the entire season and postseason. Yeah. I have to go to Philly, and you show me Philly, and you, uh, I have to eat Philly food, and um, maybe even eat dinner with your family or something, which oh, sounds like a living nightmare to me. Oh, no, it w uh, wait till you, tr you try um, Rotor's Casserole. Yeah, what's in it? Oh, it's great. It's got corn, macaroni, uh, it's got uh, uh, tomato sauce. Uh-huh. Oh, it's great, yeah. Hey, what about hot dog slices? Excuse me? Hot dog slices, like sliced hot dogs? Oh, yeah. Yeah, she puts that in sometimes, too. It's great. Mm. Mm. And then we're going to have for dessert, we're going to have tasty cakes and probably some funny cake, too. Oh, okay. Yeah. And now, where? how about the... Uh... So, so you picture that this is how you see your year going on 
when is it, like January? Yes, uh, January. The middle of January, the Super Bowl yes. comes down. Philly's going to win the Super Bowl. Yep. And it's just going to be 19-0. and 0. Oh, yeah. Is that how you see it My going? My prediction, yes. You should try to you you should try to get tickets to the Super Bowl if you uh, feel so strongly. That'd be your hey, crowning you know, moment. Hey, hey, speaking of the Super Bowl, yeah, little um, Roy Jr. came home the other day, uh huh, and he he was in tears, but they were tears of joy. Okay, because he had heard that the Super Bowl is going to be in Philly this year. In Philly, yeah. what like the. Uh... What is it, like Veterans Stadium or something? No, it's actually going to be at Del Val uh, Community College, they say. De Del Val yeah. Community College. Yeah, that, that's what he heard. And so we're all excited about it. So it looks like we can actually go to the Super Bowl. But I wanted to know, because you're in the media, you're a reporter, I wanted to know if, if you could confirm that. Yeah, well, I'm not a, in the media or a reporter, but I, I can pretty much... Say the Super Bowl will not be held in Delvale at the Delvale Community College this year. I don't see that. That's not going to happen. Well, why is that? Well, because the Super Bowl is usually held somewhere um, good, where it would be like a big city. Philly's the biggest city. It's not the biggest city. In terms of heart, it is, yeah. In terms of heart. So you're saying yeah. that it's not going to happen there? No, it's not going to happen there. I can pretty much tell you. Oh, well, way to go. Way to go. Yeah, I'm sorry. Roy Jr. is crying in the corner right now. Well, that's really not my fault. Maybe so if little Royda. Little Royda is crying. Maybe if you were a grown-up, you could tell your children um, that Philly that is not the center of the universe. I'm starting to cry, too, now. I was all excited, too. Yeah, well, again, Philly's not the center of the universe, and I know that that might sting. But uh, it's ki it's kind of true. The world does not revolve around Philadelphia. It soon will. You wait till we get the bomb. To what? Yeah. Till you get the bomb? Yeah, we're gonna have the bomb. We're gonna we're gonna blow all you guys up. Wait, Philly is gonna what? Start attacking other parts of the United States? Yeah, I'm gonna try to get this thing going where we where we succeed. And and become what? The United States of Philadelphia. Oh, so you'll be, it'll be its own country. Yeah. Why not? Why, why not indeed? You, I would be all for that secession. You guys don't deserve us. Yeah, you're right. We don't deserve you. You're right. We're sorry. Please start those secession, uh, that secession movement going. So that way maybe Philly can then declare war on the United States. Hey. It might happen, you know, if you guys keep pushing us. If we keep pushing you. Yeah. And who do you think would win that war? Philly. Philly would win the war. Yeah, because we, we're going to muster our, our, our local troops. Oh, and there's some pretty tough people over there in Fishtown and Roxborough and Radnor. You wait. Yeah, that's right. So maybe if this war is a uh, fist fight between some... Um, some like um, brain damaged Amish guy. Hey, they're not all brain damaged. Well, no, I didn't mean that, but just like there is like an anger in Philly, though, that is undeniable. Well, you know, well, I'm hearing it right now. Well, it's from years of getting told by people in New York and New Jersey that that we're no good. I think you've got too. I think you might have too many pencil shavings. Uh, you might be inhaling too many pencil shavings. It's starting to go to your head. Only thing that's going to my head is Philly Pride. The, yeah. And soon, soon Philly Pride's going to take it upside your head. Well, I would say bring it on, and the bet is on. Okay. So I'm ready for to bring you to New Jersey when the Eagles uh, when the Eagles inevitably will lose a game this year. That's not going to happen. And you come down here, I'm going to force feed you eleven cheesesteaks. Oh, uh, you're going to force feed and not, me, and not in your mouth. <laughs> oh, not in my yeah, mouth. Oh, yeah. my God. Yeah. Oh, good luck. Good luck. Well, Hope you like cheese. Hope you like cheese down there. <laughs> good luck to you, Philly boy okay, Roy. Okay, we'll, we'll smell you later. I'll be in touch. Okay, you be in touch, Jersey please. Sucks. And And Philly... Oh. I didn't even get the last word in on my call. Oh, Philly boy Roy. He always wins. 
201 is the number.